Oh, bless the Lord, oh, my soul, and all that within me. I will bless his precious and his holy name. Today, I want to be discussing with you the subject that's entitled delayed, not denied. Delayed, but not denied. You see, delay is meant to make you give up, become hopeless, and to no longer expect God promises will come to pass in your life. Well, the manifestation of a promise of God may be delayed, but the word tell us, the word of God tell us that it's not denied. 2 Corinthians 1 and 2. 2 Corinthians 1 and 20. The word delay means to postpone until a later time. In other words, to put off. The word denied means rejected. Refuse, disallow, veto, suppress, and repress. Unacceptable. The prophet Daniel and the delay he experienced in the display of his request to God in Daniel's 10, 1 through 12. Well, see, Daniel was a man of boldness. He was not afraid to pray and he was not afraid to trust God even when it costs him something to do so. Daniel, the Bible said, pray earnestly. And he had devoted himself to what we, what he was praying about. The prophet, the Bible says that the man of God, the prophet prayed a moan for 21 days, not understanding why he had not heard from the Lord. During that time, not even eating, not, not even anointing himself. Do you sometimes wonder when God promises will manifest in your life? Delays are strategy tightness of the devil. Strategistic tightness of the devil. Well, it's doing the delays that the devil seeks to fill your mind with doubt. The devil wants you to ever so slowly lose your trust in God, willingly to answer your prayer. He wants you to become hopeless. Are you facing any hopeless situations? He wants you to be distracted, stressed out, and anxious about your future rather than resting in knowing that God promises are true for you. You see, God truly cares for each one of us. Psalms 41 says, I waited patiently for the Lord. He inclined unto me and heard my cry. And then Psalms 18, 16 says, my distress or in a time of my need. I call upon the Lord and cry to my God for help. He heard my voice out of his temple and my cry for help before him came unto his ears. See, one of the adversaries' most toughest weapon that he used against us as believers is deceit. After all, he is referred to as the father of lies, according to John 8, 14. Well, the devil seeks to challenge the loving character of God. One type that he employs is by telling us Christians that God is not really interested in what is going on in our lives. He began to tell us why pray. God really not listening. And if he is, he doesn't really care about you. But I wanted to remind you that God's ears is inclined towards us. Not only does the Lamb of God hear and recognize the voice of the shepherd, the shepherd hears and recognizes the voice of the Lamb. See, God hears the prayers of his people. Can I get a witness? And it still remains that the effectual, firm prayers of a righteous man avail much. God got outstretched hands towards each one of us. 
Let me tell you this morning that God does not only hears, but he helps us. It's one thing to hear, but it's a whole nother thing to help. Delayed, but not denied. But when you look up and see Jesus in the midst of your situation, you see more clearly that he's right there with you. He's loving you and wanting to give you the desires of your heart. Your prayers might be delayed, but I'm assure you that don't mean denied. We find that Daniel's answer was delayed by the activity of demonic forces sent to disrupt the plan of God for 21 days. The evil spirit who overrules the kingdom of Persia blocked my way, says the angel. See, I want you to see this picture of Daniel. Daniel prayed, God heard. Angels were dispatched immediately. However, there was a delay. But notice this delay was only temporarily. God's plan will always be accomplished. According to verse 13. Continues that when Michael, one of the top officers of the heavenly army, came to help me, the angel said, so that I was able to break through the spiritual rulers of Persia. See, I want to let you know that the adversary may delay the plan of God, but he would never defeat God's plan for you. And though the forces of the evil one was able to hinder Gabriel, notice hinder, but not destroy. All he had to do was call for a little help from Michael, the archangel. There was another war in the heaven lies, and once again, the enemy of God was defeated. If the adversary and his host have defeated the answer to your prayer, just hang on. Because if needs be, if it needs to be, God will send another angel to fight for you. Your answer may be delayed, but it's never denied. It wasn't anything that Daniel had done. It wasn't anything that God had done. The evil spiritual force had interrupted the dispatch and caused delay. Have you considered that spiritual forces are causing the delay? In the manifestation of God's promises in your life? The delay is meant for you to give up, to become hopeless, and to no longer expect God's promises to come to pass in your life. But I want to let you know that there's a better day coming. Victory is on the horizon. It seems I can almost hear the sound of angels as they are sent from the throne room of God. God is victorious. The adversary is defeated. God has inclined his ears and outstretched his arms. You just got to wait on the Lord. See, God has ultimate plans for our lives. Even when the answers seem to be delayed. It is for a purpose. I understand that not even the devil in hell can frustrate the will of the plan of God. Though it may be hard to believe, there are positive aspects to waiting. It causes us to mature in our faith. It brings patience in our lives. It would help us to develop confidence in God. Thank God he doesn't offer instant answers to all our prayer that we pray. Well, Psalms 24, 14 said, wait on the Lord. Be of good courage and he shall strengthen thy heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. Psalms 37, 7 said, rest in the Lord and wait patiently for him. Fret not thyself because of him who prosper in his way. Because the, the man who bringeth wicked device to pass. Isaiah 40, 31. But they that 
that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. My last verse came who a buckle two and three. For the vision is yet for a pointed time. But at the end, it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, <laughs> wait for it. Because it will surely come. It will not tarry. Delay does not mean denied. Let us pray. Eternal Heavenly Father, God, we approach the throne of grace on today. God, we're thanking you, God. We're thanking you for all the many blessings that you stored upon us. We thank you, Lord, for being our battle like in the time of battle, fighting for our defense. And God, we understand just because our timing is not like your timing, it doesn't mean that our delay is a denial, but it's mean our delay is getting us prepared for what is coming around the corner during our blessing season. In your precious name, amen.